<laughs> oh, God. You know, when I got these ear pieces in, sometimes a, your, a guest comes back from commercial break. I have no idea what you just told me, David Spade. Is everything okay? We're good? I was just saying her countdown was like a NASA one. But it's amazing. For, like the last 30 yeah, wow, seconds, it's 38, two. 37. You were the second guest that we've had in a row. Jeff Garland was fixated with Britney's countdown. Because uh, you have only music. sports guys, so we're in professional like movie sets. Yes. So <laughs> we don't ever, we see the quiet then the point. Yes. She's like, 29, 28. And then I get nervous because I go, is that, are we going all the way to one? <laughs> so uh, yeah, because I sort of roughly in my head. Can so do what what seconds. what type of count would you like? Like a ten a down from ten or a five? five. Right. Oh, like then a tootsie. The, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And then the, <laughs> and the point. Whatever, stupid. Good let's to see you, go. David yeah, let's Spade. Let's get right to it. Hey guys, how are you? Uncomfortable. Look at this chair. You know, <laughs> last time you were here, you sat uh, cross-legged on that chair. Yeah, I'm gonna stay on the edge this time because I feel like. These are sports themed. This is a catcher's mitt or something. Do we go over that? No, it's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> because there's it's some not. reason they're this ugly. There's, it's like something with. Uh, We've had some guests on. The, these are. What, Watery what, barn. I think something like that. And yeah. that people who have these chairs in their house. They're like, oh, I have these chairs. But I don't think it's a catcher's mitt. I'm looking for mitt. comfort just at the home. But uh, Have you ever sat in a catcher's mitt before? It's sort of what <laughs> it must feel like. One time when I went to Johnny Bench's house. <laughs> We saw him just last week in Washington, D.C. For real? For real. I grew up with the Reds. I like the Reds. Did you have the Johnny Bench batter up in your backyard, which is, the, you know, that that pole that you'd spin around oh, and then the ball. And you, hit it? Yeah, and you yeah, hit yeah. it. Uh, of course. I had that in the Evil Knievel uh, doll that runs. Yeah, exactly. I, I had all the, the cool stuff. Too. I'm dating myself. I'm older than you, but I had, I had some. Uh, You're not that much older than me. Yeah, we're not going to say numbers here because we got some <laughs> female fans out there, but <laughs> we're going to keep it in general. Well, it's uh, distinguished. Mm -hmm. It's distinguished, David. I don't look that bad at it. You look great, man. I got my hair combed. You look great. Yeah. This is as good as it gets, by the way. But you just had a birthday, <laughs> did you not? Yeah. What'd you do to celebrate your birthday? Try to make sure no one knew it was my birthday. Are you serious? You're yeah. not that, you're, you don't like celebrating I your used birthday? to. I used to have like a big rager, and then uh, it got too expensive, and then all the stars that came were bigger stars, and then they took all the <laughs> girls, and I was like, I don't, I'm, I'm at the party where I'm the weakest star here. <laughs> At your own party. Yeah, one time I came, I was eating before the party started, and Stallone, Bruce Willis, and Kevin Costner came up. Is this thing gone yet? I go, oh, oh, here we go. Okay, we're doing it. Uh, and then we all did karaoke with a live band and stuff, and Kid Rock would sing, hey, amen. What's your go-to karaoke song? Kid Rock told me I cannot sing. He said, uh, you, you're bad. I mean, he jokes around with me, but the, the truth is, even my mom said you can't sing. But I can, you know, everyone can karaoke. Yeah. I sometimes do Bowie or Tom Petty because I sort of can fake it. Like, right. It's more like an impression. Right. It's not fun for everybody else, but I can do a few lines. But it's hard to do the whole song. So I just watch everyone else do You just watch everybody else yeah. do karaoke. So yeah. you didn't have a birthday party. This year we went to Javier's. We went down to Newport and just had some buddies and we played golf. And then, uh, Okay. Yeah, it was easy enough. At this point, we can't get too bananas about it. Do you want to tell uh, David how you spent your birthday party, Chris? <laughs> Every year we do a burger fantasy draft. Because he's a big fantasy football player, David Spade. Hamburgers? Where we, where we, yeah, we go to this place in Venice that has like gourmet burgers, and we uh, draw names out of a hat, and we do a fantasy draft where everyone orders one, and then we draft uh, halves of each burger. So you may not get the burger that you order, but it's just kind of a throw in a little fantasy aspect I'll, I'll to it. I'll get some Livion bell peppers on mine. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Stuff like that. That was almost exactly. Berman-esque right there. Levion bell peppers. Well. I like that. That sounds What do you think? Fun? There's no karaoke. <laughs> there's, there's no girls there, obviously. No but, girls. Yes. Yeah. It's a horrible sales pitch. Would you? Would, <laughs> <laughs> no so, girls, only hamburger halves. Correct. It's a, it's a guys only. His lovely and beautiful... Better half, who you know very well. Yes. The very funny Sarah Tiana. Yeah, she's great. As a matter of fact, you sat down, you looked at him, you go, Sarah Tiana, yep. you pointed right at That's him. That's right. Not invited. Not invited. Oh. Like, she wouldn't be able to guys hang with night. you guys. Yeah, and guys night. Yeah. Guys night. I got it. I play both sides. Guys night. Yeah, I think guys okay. night. Uh, I did a fantasy draft. You know, I was 11 and 3 last year, and I still bombed out, and I got fourth. Oof. I really that fell apart. You know what? And you're winning all year, and you go, bottom's about to come out, because it's always, you know, sort of a crapshoot. Right. But I was crushing it. And then Sean Jackson, to Sean Watson. Yes. He wiped out. He went down. And then that, that was the beginning of the second half. <laughs> and mm -hmm. then I really fell apart. Did you draft him, or did you pick him up, Deshaun Picked Watson? Picked him up. 
Isn't that the waiver best? Wire. The waiver wire pickup. Oh, it's so good. It was so juicy. You feel really good about yourself. When oh, you I do feel that, smart. Right? Yeah, like a GM, and uh, it's really all about the waiver wire because the draft. Usually, the first one or two of mine bust out somehow mm -hmm. because I'm picking names from a couple years back, yeah. you know, and then like you get Dez and he craps out on you or something. Right. So I was pretty good. I always go quarterback early, and everyone tells me not to, but it it, it actually is not a bad idea. Yeah, that's you're supposed to not do that. I know, but I can't help it. I see him sitting there, and I pluck him. So I can't take it. I who, get stressed. Who would you take this time around? I can't say, but um. When is your draft? We don't even. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? We Jody, my buddy back there, does it with me. He's the commish of the one of just us right. idiots, and then I have a happy Madison one. Who's in that one? Anybody that we it's know? Starting Swartzen to fall in that. Apart. Is Swartzen in that one? You know, Swartzen's sort of a puss. He doesn't do it, and he but he talks a big game, but he won't do fantasy. Why? I don't know. You know, there's guys that go, I'm like a real gambler. And you go, okay, yawn. <laughs> Fantasy's fun. I like it. I agree. It's so good. Da my buddy had David Johnson, of course. He's like, I got David Johnson. Snap. What was that? <laughs> oh, his wrist <laughs> was, broke. Oh, that that was such worst. a buzzkill. But doesn't he want more money now and he didn't even play last That's year? correct. That's a tough position. That's everybody wants to do. All right, we're back in 60 seconds with David Skins. Uh, the new book from Audible, A Polaroid Guy in a Snapchat World, Netflix's Father of the Year. And uh, you said you'd be kind enough to play phone a friend of uh, when we when we play. Uh, Whatever you want. Sure. Uh, 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 Very Tour adaptable. de France rider and uh, pharmaceutical. Yeah, That's they're already do. over there. All right, we're back in 60 seconds with David Spade. on the Hamburger guys getting excited. <laughs> All right, David Spade is here at David Spade on Twitter, and you can catch Father of Year, oh. uh, Father of the Year on Netflix. Uh, you just told, now you're sitting cross-legged. Yeah, it's it's more comfortable. It's more comfortable, just right? Trying to make struggle your, through here, just make, get through it. Make yourself. <laughs> I wish physically, you had right? Ambulance stretcher. You say. Lay down. Um, so you just said you you learned a New, a New Hampshire accent for Father of the Year. Yeah. What, what is I that? I mean, listen. They wanted me to like act. Like I was in New Hampshire, I'm like, guys, I've sort of skated through it for about 22 years. So you really need to bring the De Niro on now. So I had to go to a dialect coach because the movie, I'm a New Hampshire dad. I'm sort of horrible at it and I'm a drunk and uh, and I get in fights the whole movie. Mm -hmm. So I went to a dialect coach, but it's not even Boston, which I thought, oh, you can kind of fake it. People like this to hear, hey, mocky mock, you know. Right. But they go, no, it's New Hampshire. So, oh, the struggle. And then every day on the set, directors from New Hampshire, so we go, it's sort of like this, it's ah, ah instead of ah, you know, it's tricky. But anyway. Did you ever we'll say- see, like, We'll like, see like, in March for we'll, the Oscars. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the summary. Smash cut two. <laughs> Smash cut two. Downtown, Los, yeah. downtown Los Angeles. Um, that's when I fell out of the truck at the beginning. I go, oh my God. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, that's a little piece of it. But that's different than Boston. I can't. I don't even remember <laughs> retain one thing after the movie wrapped. I just was like, "Well, you're from that area. Yeah, is, is I mean, it different? I'm, I'm from Maine. It's and a there's little, Maine too. It's a little bit different. Maine is a lot thicker. See, to be honest, because what? Because you're close to Canada. I don't understand. No, it's just it's the the lack of R's and the something to do with the lobsters. Could be that mm. lobster. Could be that. Lobster. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the new book from Audible, a Polaroid guy mm. in a Snapchat world. Yes. I think I know what you mean by that, but you're just an old yeah, school like guy. Yeah, like I'm a little out of it now, yeah. Why Why is that? Well, like I was more in the Polaroid world, you know, growing up, and now it's all this other stuff. So I sort of compare the two. Mm -hmm. Like my generation, I'm not like a full, I guess I am a full generation away, but, and then how it is with dating, how it is with, I used to keep my dog in the backyard because it was a dog and now everyone keeps it inside. You know, I, I sort of go over what was it like, for me now, where I feel like I realize I'm out of it when I deal with everything going on in the world now. So you're not on Snapchat. You're not on Snapchat. I'm not. I'm on. I'm you're on, on Twitter. IG. Instagram. Yeah. Right. I didn't do my. I didn't jump in. I go. These things are a passing fancy because I'm so stupid. Right. I'm like Facebook will never catch on. And then by Twitter, I go. All right, I got to get on one of these. So I did Twitter and Instagram basically. Yeah, but Sandler's not on it at all, right? Oh yeah. Uh, he, uh, he's not on he it does, at all. He doesn't really monitor it. He, he has people. But when we did that comedy tour, he was putting stuff on Instagram. You almost have to. You do. I know you do. People don't even know where to get. Uh, they don't know how to. They just go right there. If you're not there, they give up on you. Right. So I just put stupid stuff I'm doing on there. Okay. Yeah. You know, I've got a couple of facts that we've noticed from your um, your IMDB page. We want to see if it's true or yeah. false. Okay. You got that? All right. Yeah. Here's David Spade here. It'll, just a quick celebrity true or false. Thing. Celebrity true. Keeping it real. Or false. Uh, worked as a skateboard shop employee. True or false? 
uh, the Bear Cover in Tempe, right by ASU. Yes. What was that like in a skateboard shop? Just it was good. I used to skate. Did the old AZ pipes? You did? Yeah. Okay. I did the pools. How good were you? I got to where I could do aerial. Once you could get aerials out of pools, it lost me. Okay. Because I, I tried to do an aerial on an aerial axle stall, and then I fell backwards into the pool, and I broke both my wrists. Yes. Then I got better, and then I <laughs> broke my wrist again. And then my mom said, you can't skateboard. I go, because you're so worried about me? She goes, no, because you're horrible at it. You <laughs> falling out. But, that, but I still like follow Tony Hawk on Instagram to be like, hey, I'm in the mix. Yeah. Skateboard. Yeah, the one time Tony Hawk was cool. here, he put me on a skateboard and I fell right on my oh, ass. Oh no, really? Oh yeah. That You're, guy's still good. I can't believe how good he is. I'm not I'm not very good at it at all. Well, it's I not mean, your thing. There, there you we can, go, right there. You're a good but sprinter. I learned I learned how to fall. I, you can run in a straight line, I heard. You can run I can out. do that. I could definitely do that. That's good. Uh next fact, you have a degree in business from Arizona State University. That sort of sounds like a lie. It's a, maybe th I said that because I wanted to someone to ASU. I really only I didn't even graduate. I went to SCC. And then I went to ASU for a semester, but I was in a fraternity, so I was bombing out so bad. I started doing stand-up, and I just bailed. So then your stand-up career took you out of college, basically. Thank God. It was a lull there, obviously. But All I, right. I Fake got six news. credits. In, I'm probably about 180 credits of short. <laughs> <laughs> I might pick it up next summer. So then uh, your first season on Saturday Night Live, you only appeared three times on the air. Is that, that true? That sounds about right. Yeah. What, what happened? You're just... Not good. No, um, stop. No, I wrote, but I'm writing against Dana Carr. You know, the competition there with just the writers are Conan O'Brien, Bob Odenkirk, Robert Smigel, mm -hmm. uh, Jack Handy, and then you've got Jim Down. Everyone is already good. And then you're also Mike Myers is writing and all the cast and Sandler and Dennis Miller. So everyone's so uh, way better. I didn't, I wasn't ready for it. And then I was just sort of not quite at that level. And then I got better over the years, but just too tough. So hold on a minute. Jack Handy was the name of an actual writer? Yeah, that's a so real the guy. Deep thoughts, deep thoughts. Yeah. Were they actually his deep thoughts? Yeah. And was he, he the one? Also, who, sketches that were great. Did he voice? Was he that wrote his Toons voice is too? The cat and all those weird ones. The cat who drives a car. Yeah. <laughs> Every young person's like, huh? No, that's not true. Plug in my ox car. No, don't come on now. That's young people. No, we, no. we get what's. See, I, I'm a Polaroid guy in a yeah, yeah, in yeah. a Snapchat world. Yeah. So SNL oh, was tough, but I got on more and more. I never got on as. And Dana Carvey was a better version of me. He was so good <laughs> <laughs> that I was sitting right there mostly because yeah. they thought he was retiring and he didn't. So I was the backup. I was, you know, Aaron Rodgers. So what was the what was the one big moment for you to break through? I think then? I did one called The Receptionist. That was pretty good. Yeah. And then I started doing Hollywood Minute. And then Lauren, my boss, was like, yeah, yeah, do that again next week. I'm like, oh, oh he's talking to me? Okay. And then two weeks later, do it again. I'm like, okay, I got something. And then the last one that we've got here, uh, you have a tattoo of uh, Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes on your left bicep given to you by Sean Penn. Is that yeah. a true story? That was from Saturday Night Live. Yeah. He was in town. I didn't really know him, but I heard he could... He was trying to do tattoos on potatoes and stuff just to see if he could do it. So I said, oh, it'd be funny. My arm's like a potato. So I uh, called. I got his number from someone, and he said, yeah, I'll do it. So he came over, and then he, uh, <laughs> I took him to some biker bar with some Hells Angels, and he couldn't do the one I wanted, so we had to pick one right then because we were filming it. And I interviewed him while he did this horrible tattoo. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's horrible. You, to the point where I, you I started. I took it off once. Like you, It takes a while. But then I go, no, I like it just because it's... Why'd you choose Calvin? Just because you like it? Because we were all like, what's the easiest one he can do out of the newspaper? <laughs> so I was like, can you do Snoopy? I knew it was going to be horrible for the rest of my life. But I needed a bit for the show. It's before Jackass, guys. There you go. Wow. All right. All right we're going to play the game? Yeah, we do. Let's do it. Cyclist or Pharmaceutical with uh, with David Spade as the, um, as the phone a friend here. Are you ready for you guys? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's their questions and they get to ask me. For help. It's their, I'm asking them and okay. they get to ask you for help. Got These are the names it. of uh, an actual cyclist Easy. in the Tour de France that wrapped up today or a pharmaceutical. You ready, guys? Please, add, please use David Spade uh, liberally. No idea. Okay, here we go. Bernal. I know this one. David Spade, what do you got? I thought you weren't even finished. No, no, no. That was it? Bernal, that's the name. It's, is it a cyclist or pharmaceutical? I think that's. Bernal. Wouldn't he have more than one name? Bernal. Uh, it's either the last name or oh, the first shoot. name of a cyclist or pharmaceutical. 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 What do you think? Cyclist. It is the name of a Colombian cyclist. Oh, God Mike dang. Del Tufo's up 1 0. I thought it was that okay. one. Okay. Next one Avista. Avista. What? Cyclist or pharmaceutical? Mike, Asta? you're up first. Totally, totally. It's not a cyclist. 
That it's is a, a pharmaceutical. Would, uh, do you know because you're taking it? I'm taking it as a pharmaceutical. No, I don't know because I'm taking it. I'm going to say cyclist. What do you think? I know this guy, Asta La Vista. Nope, it's not him. It's an actual, and you're definitely not taking it, Mike Del Tufo, because <laughs> it treats and prevents osteoporosis in women who are postmenopausal. Ah, oh. oh, come on. Pharmaceutical, he's up to nothing. You need to I come take back three faster. Three of those a day, I should know that. <laughs> Here's another one. Your boy. <laughs> your boy. <laughs> Cyclist or pharmaceutical? Your boy. Your boy. Cyclist? Mike? Definitely a cyclist. What do you think, David Spade? I'm, I'm, I had this one scares me. You tapping out? Yeah. You're both wrong. It's oh. a pharmaceutical. Oh, you have to take God. your void to make sure that you have an antibody to regulate your body's immune system. Nobody's got one point. <laughs> your Check boy. your doctor before you had sure your yeah. boy. Amador. Amador. Pharmaceutical. Chris? Cyclist. I say soccer player. <laughs> He's a Costa Rican, so you might have been in. Yes, he's a cyclist. All right, tie right. it up. This was last one. This is the last one. You Where need to do this to tie up or, or win. Pick. Okay, here we go. Uh, Valgren. Valgren. Ooh. David Spade is here for your help if you need it. Valgren. I say pharmacy. I'll go with David. Mike Del Tufo? For the win. Pharmaceutical. He is not. He's a Denmark rider. We all lost ah. everyone. <laughs> You guys are the worst pharmaceutical or cyclist worst. players. You can't tell the difference, can you? I didn't even, we didn't get one. By the way, I'm also up. watching David get tattooed by Sean Penn over here. Did you look oh at it? I'm watching it Is right there a now. YouTube video on yeah, it? So yes. Yeah, we're trying to get it turned around for the plus block. Oh, Ooh. There's an actual video of oh, you. Oh, yeah. It was, it was whole, on SNL. Yeah, it was a, it's a, my best it's a four minute <laughs> skit. Jeez. I was asking these questions and he couldn't concentrate and he kept going. What? Is you look terrified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it hurts, too. I didn't know that part. Yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't drink because it makes your blood thin. Right. Oh. Apparently, he could. <laughs> <laughs> he came two hours late because the car I sent him got lost, so he came drunk. A new book from Audible, a Polaroid guy in a Snapchat world, and check out Netflix's Father of the Year right now Father. on Netflix. Good to see you, David. Yeah, Spade. thanks, guys. And fun. Please come great. back anytime. I love it. Anytime. Dude, it's fun here. It's a great show. You got it. Thank you. David Spade here. Check him out on Twitter and IG, but not on Snapchat. Right here on The Rich Eisen Yay. Show. Yay. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.